Hi, it's Dr. Manali. Today I'm going to be talking about if it's normal for your cholesterol levels to go up transiently when you lose weight. Now, I had never heard that before until recently. Um, I've seen some weight loss experts or even doctors say that it's normal for your bad cholesterol to transiently go up when you're trying to lose weight. And I've never seen that before myself. Um, most people, when they are trying to lose weight, eat healthier, and then your cholesterol levels improve, just like what you would expect. But I did some research to see if there are any studies to support this. And I really couldn't find that many studies. There are a couple of studies of less than a, you know, 100 people or so that show that this could be normal. But most large studies show that when you lose weight, um, people's cholesterol do bad cholesterol levels do go down, just like what you'd expect because they're eating healthier or exercise and or exercising more. And that generally improves your cholesterol levels. And so um, the reason this could be important to you or you'd want to know about it is that if your cholesterol levels are even transiently going up, in that time frame, you could potentially be forming um, cholesterol blockages in the arteries of your heart. Now your cholesterol levels that you get checked on blood tests, that's not the best way to tell if there are cholesterol blockages in your heart. The best way are tests that you're probably not going to get for many years or until you have health problems. And those are tests like a cardiac catheterization or cardiac CT or even a um, calcium score. And But those tests, most people don't generally need them until they're actually having other problems. So given that you're not going to get any of those other tests, then the next best test for you probably is going to be the cholesterol levels that you get checked with your regular blood work with your primary care doctor. And given that that's the only test that we're looking at to see if you have, you know, a risk of forming those cholesterol blockages in the arteries of your heart, then it is important to you if those levels are going up even transiently. Especially if you diet on and off a lot, then, you know, your levels could be going up and down and up and down. And when they're up, you're at risk of forming those blockages in the arteries of your heart, which could, which will increase your risk of having a heart attack long term. And so that's why it's important for you to know. Now, if you've never had your cholesterol checked, it's definitely worth checking at least once with your primary care doctor, especially if um, you have changed the way you've eaten to eat healthier or lose weight or whatever, um, you know, whatever reason you've changed your diet or the way you're eating, um, because you want to make sure that it's not negatively affecting your cholesterol, because again, that does um, potentially put you at risk for forming those cholesterol blockages in your heart, and then that puts you at risk for having a heart attack long term. That's all for today. For more science fact, health, and nutrition videos, you can follow me on Instagram, Healthy with Dr. Molly, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Molly Decide. I'll see you next time.